Hey guys, and welcome to another brand new video. In this video, we actually have a lot of gaming news going on over here, and one of the biggest things is one of the most sought after PlayStation 5 games actually finally is about to be fully released with embargoes on the way and all that other good stuff as well. We also have some other cool stuff mixed on and kind of a little bit of a late night chill day where it has a Cristiano Ronaldo actually also showcasing up in different types of games too as well. So we have a lot of different kind of crazy things going on when it comes to the gaming verse, and although it's not the craziest news going on besides like even restocks and even restocks are kind of chill to off throughout today this is the bright side there's a lot of gaming news all floating around so hope you guys are ready for a nice little chill laid back nice little late night video and hope you guys all get to go be comfy and chill so also get to go play some pokemon later on throughout tonight i'm not sure if you guys are actually be checking it out yourselves but overall it should be a pretty good day when it comes to gaming so go, go chill go relax go fall asleep to my voice so whatever you guys go and do and as well make sure you guys are subscribed with the notifications on as well for the brand new playstation 5 giveaway the samsung ss these and Samsung gift cards going on down below. Twitter and Twitch stream as well down below. Sign up for Weeble, deposit $1, you got a bunch of free stock, free money, and also check out those Amazon links. We're still hopefully patiently waiting for a nice little Amazon drop. But we have a lot of cool news to go talk about, so let's go and talk about it. So very first and foremost, this will probably be a pretty big, I uh, guess, overall news conversation topic throughout these next few days, because this one is the good stuff. So this is in regards over here to I'm sure you guys can probably go and tell Horizon Forbidden West. So we have a few little things in the news for them all throughout today. Number one, we actually had a huge PlayStation blog kind of highlighting up over here and showcasing up a bunch of really cool Horizon Forbidden West, even PS4 gameplay too. If you guys even uh, noticed as well, we also got copyright strike taken down a few days ago. We actually showed up some of this PS4 console gameplay beforehand. But at least on the bright side, we could actually go and show this, I believe, normally because thankfully PlayStation is on the official PlayStation blog. It's all public. It's all allowed to be showcased up over here. If I get copyright striked for this one, I'm going to cry tears because it's all public out here. So please, hopefully, don't, don't, please don't get rid of me. <laughs> so we're going to talk about this, but as well, one of the really big news before we fully dive into the Horizon news, as of Gorilla themselves up on Twitter today, they have some very, very exciting news. We have some exciting news for you all. Horizon Forbidden West has officially gone gold so i'm sure you guys all usually know but whenever a game goes and officially goes gold we covered this earlier on this week as well with elden ring that means that the game is essentially good to go the game is essentially pretty much i don't want to say bug free but like it's been play tested enough that it's officially on the rise and able to be sold to the general public so in all intents and purposes the game is done although there usually is also a day one patch to kind of smooth out any last little minute like crunches or as well as any small glitches and sometimes you know in the next few months they'll have small quality of life changes and updates or things they wanted to go and add but just didn't have enough time for it so as of right now officially that means that our horizon should be almost perfectly good to go in these next upcoming few weeks whenever it comes to their February release date. And I 1 zillion percent can't wait to go play this. So make sure you guys are following me up on Twitch and also on YouTube. We'll make sure to go and cover up some news and give some feedback on it. But this is all officially gone, going gold over here, and it's been doing phenomenal. And I think a lot of folks out there are pretty excited to get to go check it on out. So we also have a nice official PlayStation blog post stating, Gorilla celebrates the game going gold with a first look at the gameplay on, of course, it's also kind of intriguing, the PS4 Pro console. So they also say the same, we have some exciting news for you all. We are thrilled to announce that Horizon Forbidden West has gone gold. This means that we are all set to start printing and distributing the game, ready for you to experience Eloy's journey into the Forbidden West yourselves in less than a month away. We take this opportunity to congratulate everyone on the team for what we have achieved so far together and the community for their continued support. So basically also here, they're trying to go and highlight up some of the gameplay, which I can show you guys up over here. And it's very intriguing to go and note that they wanted to go and showcase it up more on the PS4 vibe, mainly because I guess there is probably still a lot more folks out there trying to get their PS4 versions and still have their PS4 versions, and I'm sure we'll have a very large amount of folks buying this game on the PS4. But as well, I'm kind of surprised they're not showing up the PS5, but at the same time, even seeing this on the PS4 looks phenomenal. Looks very, 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 very good too as well. So I guess we had a chance to see a lot of it on the PS5, at least the PS4 looks great. The only kind of big critique I think I have off this so far is it does seem like it is a little bit more on the somewhat blurrier side, where it does show the PS5 has a slightly more fine-tuned and like more clean when it comes to animations and textures on the characters. But even looking at this on the PS4 Pro, it's very cool to go and see how just in-depth everything is. The world seems vibrant. There's a lot of effects going on. And obviously, I'm sure it'd be a lot more in-depth on the PS5. But it also is very almost kind of calming to go and see that Sony is so kind of 
I guess, proud of their version that they don't even mind showing it on old gen. Because don't forget the PS4 and PS4 Pro are like many, many years old at this point. So I had a chance to go and see this up over here on the PlayStation blog. It was very nice to go and see. We have quite a few other various clubs too as well. So they're kind of just going through the game and they're showing up some of the different features and environments and all of this. Once again, I want to reiterate that it is actually showcased up on the PS4 Pro. And I do believe the PS5 and PS4 Pro versions both are have gone gold. But like, this is why I love the original Horizon. It just looks good and seems great and i know a lot of you guys out there are still trying to get your ps5s but for me myself i got my ps5 and i can't wait to go and be able to enjoy this game because this better not be a bad experience i'm gonna be a little bit salty if this is not fun but all the previous horizon games have been phenomenal and i'm sure this one will be definitely up to par two as well we have a few other little things too on top of this to just showcase on up on once again this is all in the ps4 pro gameplay but i love the colors i love the aesthetics i love the gameplay i love everything i've seen so far for this game and i one zillion percent cannot wait to have a chance to go and play up this game that'll be a very very good gaming experience and i can't wait to do this throughout these next few weeks with all the features new gameplays new environment new stories and everything as well mixed on in so we're going to showcase maybe one or two more if you guys want to over here. But when it comes to all the gameplay itself, it looks phenomenal. And leave your comments and thoughts down below if you guys are going to go pick up Horizon yourselves. As well, on top of that too as well, we have a lot of the reviews mixed on in where we have to wait a little bit longer. It does look like the official review date will be on the 14th of February. So we'll have a lot more leaks and early information coming out in the near future. As well, fun kind of little cool news over here for a lot of folks who probably have the Destruction All-Stars. They finally made Destruction All-Stars of the PS5 is good, which is kind of funny over here. But we basically have actually had some very nice little updates too when it comes to it and as well, a bit more kind of cool things pied on in. Well, although this game is kind of somewhat on the not doing too hot stage, at least on the bright side, there is at least new games kind of coming out on right here. So you guys can give your thoughts and comments on it. I feel like this game is maybe a little bit too gone in the water, but graphically for the very first initial push on the ps5 just for a casual game itself it is very nice to go and see more folks out there so if you want to go check out the brand new update it is already a free-to-play game if you guys got it from your ps plus update always nice and cool to go and get to see as well as also over here we do have the ps competitor for the ufl which in case you guys are curious just kind of against the anna uh, fifa basically went and signed ronaldo on the ps5 and ps4 versions of their game which is actually all around pretty cool to go and see so basically it's always allowed you guys to go, go build your own fifa ultimate teams and it's probably one of the only good game competitions against fifa itself and overall they did go and officially sign up some really big known players so i'm probably gonna mess up these names so don't mind me but they have loads of other folks mixed on in on here too as well with their likenesses and on top of that there's even cool things like such as the team pass and like a battle pass and other various things too tied on in but it's always kind of cool to see a huge superstar like ronaldo kind of make their ways and in all honesty if we want to go and find a game out there to go and finally officially compete with fifa someone like ronaldo signing and being an official like figurehead and kind of big main like focus of the game would probably be a very, very good mix for seller. So kind of cool to go and see that. And then last but not least, the kind of the sad news over here. I actually played this game and did a sponsored campaign with them. It was a cool game in theory, but definitely was overly done. I guess in my opinion at that point when BRs came out, Hyperscape, which was actually Ubisoft's BR game, which was kind of cool, but kind of rough at the same time. Uh, definitely not a lot of folks remember. Even the very top comment over here states, I uh, generally forgot about this game over here too as well, but it does kind of seem like they did go and finally go and get rid of this game. I did not know almost a single person who played this game after the first initial two or three days. And if you guys want to leave your comments down below, if you guys even remember it in the first place, but basically we did go and have Ubisoft make an official statement saying that they, uh, well, pulled the plug on the project. We have made the difficult decision to end development of Hyperscape and shut down the game officially as of the 28th of April, the French publisher said in a brief statement. We set out to create a vertical, close quarters, and fast-paced shooter experience, and we are extremely grateful to our community for joining us on our journey. Same continues. We'll be taking key learnings from this game into future products. To the Hyperscape community, thank you for your passion and dedication to the world of Neo Arcadia, both inside and outside of the game. Which kind of makes a little bit of weird sense. It was launched up on August 11th, 2020 as a free-to-play Battle Royale title. But funny enough, basically no one had a chance to check it on out and play it. I played it for a few hours. It was okay. But I kind of feel like every other BR out at that time just did a better version, better vibe of it. And I'd rather go play them even if the game was free-to-play. So you guys can kind of give me your thoughts and comments on this one or if you guys even remember this game in the first place. But I do think the big focus more so is on Horizon doing so well and basically getting the gold, gold, gold. So we'll check that out and see. So if you guys are bored, 
I'm going to hang out on Twitch. Feel free to be checking out Pokemon later on throughout tonight. As well, make sure you guys are subscribed with the notifications on. As well, for the brand new PlayStation 5 giveaway, Amazon links down below. Samsung links for the SSDs up on sale. And same with those phones, too, as well. Also, link down below. Check out the Twitter. Check out the Twitch stream. And make sure you guys are subscribed. And check out those Weebles. And I'll see you guys tomorrow for a bunch more brand new videos. Love you guys.